what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i am back here with another video um this will be a quick general pop-up greeting i will be rolling the astrology dice just to see which zodiac sign needs um the message a message the most all right so let's get into it If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to the Vance Kingdom family. If you are a new subscriber, thank you guys so much for participating and subscribing to my channel. All right, so I'm going to take out all these unnecessary dices, the one we don't need. That reminds me something about my dream. I remember somebody giving me some dice in my dream. That's weird. Okay. Anyways, let's get into this reading. Let's figure out what zodiac sign needs to message the most. Spirit, angels, spirit, guides. Please let me know which zodiac sign needs to message the most. Also, guys, understand that understand that I do this three times. So whichever zodiac sign pops up the most is you know, of course, the one who, who will be receiving this message. So, right now we have, um, shoot, we have Leo, um, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. I'm going to roll it two more times. For all my new subscribers, my old subscribers, y'all already know. We got Scorpio, Cancer, and Sagittarius again. So, so far, Sagittarius is in the lead. I don't know if y'all can see that, but Sagittarius. This is Scorpio, and then we have Cancer. All right, now we're going to roll it one more time. Spirit, who needs the message the most? Yo, that's crazy. This is weirding me out. We got... Y'all saw me shuffle these. I said shuffle. We'll roll the dice three times. Sagittarius again. Cancer. And then Leo. So I'm going to do Sagittarius. And then I'm going to do Leo. And then I'm going to do Cancer. Because I do feel like if uh, Cancer and Leo came up twice. So I'm going to just do them for the, you know, off the strength. After I'm um, finished with my Sagittarius. And it's crazy because Sagittarius, y'all lucky. Y'all just got a reading yesterday. So... Y'all lucky. It's good. This could be a little bonus. Hopefully, we don't get no messages from any messages of like what we kind of got yesterday. Because yesterday was, mm, it was a bit much. But let's get straight into this. I do want to light um, this instant. I do want to light it. drops right in there all right so let's get into it Sagittarius this reading is for you this reading is for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius we're gonna be figuring out what's going on between you and your person career wise um how does this person feel about you the cards are already pre-shuffled off the camera I honestly don't like shuffling the cards on camera because it makes a lot of noise you know and it's like shuffle off the camera. That's wasting camera time. So, like I said, the cards are already pre-shuffled off the camera. But I do shuffle the cards once or twice just to get into the flow of the reading. Alright, so what's going on with my Sagittarius spirit? What's going on with my Sagittarius? What's going on with my Sagittarius? The Nine of Cups. Period. You know what you bring to the table. Okay, so you're very abundant by yourself, Sagittarius. You could have walked away from a um, third-party situation or a situation that some 
a situation that somebody tried to involve you in a third party situation. It's like no 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 no. No no no. You will not be involved with me in a three a third party situation. You have been through. It's like been there, done it. I've been through a lot in my past. You've overcame a lot, but those experiences you do still hold on to because you're not trying to um, get played. Like, you didn't experience those things for no reason. You learned from them. So, even though you put it behind you, you still hold on to those experiences for discernment, for your own personal... It's like your own personal navigation. Um, This person wanted to keep you trapped. Like, this was the kind of person who made you feel like you were stuck for some reason. Like, you... Like, something like... It was something about this person that really threw you off. This person um, tried to put you in a third party situation. And it's like, why would I? I'm only missing love. And you think I'm going to settle for being polygamy is what I'm hearing. This person wanted more than one person. But some of you guys, this person told you like, damn, I wish I could have both. I wish I could have both. And it's like, huh? What the hell is wrong with you? Like, you... No. Sir, no. Ma'am, no. We have the Eight of Cups walking away from the situation. Mind you, you are the Nine of Cups. Listen, you could have invested majority of what you had. All of your information, all of your knowledge, you was not stingy with this person. We got the Empress, very beautiful Libra energy, um, very beautiful. Some of you guys need to watch out for getting pregnant is what I'm picking up. But like you shared with this person your powers, your energy, you you know you shared your money, you sh you shared your 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 adventurous side, your earthy side. You told, you know, the things about things that happened to you in your childhood. It's like, I don't know, but you really, you showed them the cooking side of you. You showed them how you can um, be loyal. Like, it's so much that you brought to the table. It's like so, so much. Like, you invested literally all that you had to, until you had no more to invest in this person. And you're not the kind of person, Sagittarius, that's going to sit around and cry over spilled milk. You decided, look, fuck it, this shit ain't working out. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to move forward. I'm working with one cup because you gave eight, right? I'm working with one cup. I can work with that one cup. One thing about it, two things for sure, Sagittarius, you know you can turn um, like glitter into gold. Like you can turn lemons into lemonade. Like you have, all you need is just one cup. That's all you need. And this person literally um, tried to offer you something that you did not want. Like, you did not want what this person was offering you. We have the Ten of Swords. Mind you, you guys, we're going to clarify all these cards to get a be better understanding of the story. Okay? Let me see this. I do not want this to ash. And it just did it. On my shit. Then that, that stuff be making my cards dirty when it be doing it. Going me off. Um, some of you guys could be spending a lot of time resting and on your phone. There's a need for you to get up. Because that causes you to get like in a depressive state, just always on social media, just looking at what other people are doing. You need to get up and be doing something yourself, Sagittarius, because you do be sitting down there for a couple of hours. Sometimes it's all day long. I ain't even gonna hold you. Sometimes I see. Sometimes you're you're sitting in the bed all day long, just scrolling on your phone, chilling. You'll get up to get dressed, but not go nowhere. But still, because you feel defeated. You feel like what this person did, it was a burden. It was too much. Like, why? Why me? Can't sleep up in your head at night. Your thoughts ain't clear. You thought you was doing something right by taking a leap of faith with this person. Spirit, give me some more uh, cards, please, for my Sagittarius. Mind you, you do have other options, Sagittarius. Yeah, five of cups. 
Five of Cups is... Remember I said, like, you're not the kind of person that cry over, sp over spilled milk. But I'm telling you, if you continue to stay in this Tennis Worlds energy, you being in this Tennis Worlds energy causes you to think about what you lost, what happened, what you didn't gain. When you spend too much time resting, you start to think about how this person stabbed you in the back and all that you went through. Fuck that. You already the nine of cups. That's what you need to be remembering. Not only do you got one, you got two cups behind you that you're working with. Remember I said, listen, all the Sagittarius need is one. Fuck the one, you got two. Even better. Even better. What you going to do with it? Move forward. That's what you're going to do. Don't focus on what didn't work out. Just walk away from the shit. Use your intuition. Use your intuition. If your intuition, if your if your gut feeling is telling you that I need to walk away from this situation, this situation do not seem all that it's cracked up to be. The four wands, happy home. No, it ain't all that it's cracked up to be. If you don't walk away from this situation, I promise you, spirit is gonna come in and cut it out. Ooh, wow. Well, we are definitely not gonna do that, spirit. Spirit is tired of you laying down. Spirit is tired of you sitting and thinking about what happened to you. Spirit is tired of you being in hermit mode. It's a need for you to come out of hermit mode. They want you to go out, go outside, go travel. Um, stop focusing on what has happened. Like, because it already has happened. Like, for some of you guys, you are focusing on what happened. We have the Eight of Wands. Fast communication coming in. Okay. All right, so let's clarify this. These cards, these energies. Somebody's gonna, somebody wants to talk to you. You could have been out of communication with somebody for a while. At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon card, which represents um, Scorpio energy, also lies and deception, things being hidden, and also things being revealed. Okay. So, um, I do want to clarify. Something is telling me to clarify with one of these cards and then clarify with one of these cards. So, this is what I'm going to do. This is random. This is different, but I'm going with the flow and I'm following my intuition. I'm going to shuffle these deck of cards and I'm going to pull one of these cards. Well, not pull, but you know, wait for one to come out. Shuffle these, wait for one to come out, so we can clarify the nine of cups. But mind you, all of them, okay? Hmm. So that's new. I never did that before, but I'm, I'm, I just got that um spirit. Clarify the um the nine of cups for me, please, spirit angels, spirit gods. Clarify the nine of cups for my Sagittarius. Clarify the nine of cups for my Sagittarius. Ooh. The page of swords. Yeah, you're ready to cut this person off. Um, Something about this person you just don't want to deal with. Like, no thank you. Like, mm-mm. This person comes at you, like, in a very rude way. Like, they challenge your intelligence like this person is the kind of person that plays your intelligence the way they talk the way they say shit it causes you to be defensive it's like who are you the, who the fuck are you talking to and why the fuck are you talking to me like that it's like for some of you this person do not know how to talk to you that was that was the first red flag you already been there and done that. You already been disrespected. You already have learned that lesson of dealing with somebody that's disrespectful. Would you stand in the mirror and call yourself a bitch? No. Would you stand in the mirror and beat yourself up? No. Verbally abuse yourself? No. So why would you sit up there and accept that from somebody else? Why? You're, and what you don't, I'm not saying that you do, but like I'm just explaining the process of you learning that lesson. You already been there, done that. Like, I wouldn't stand there and do that to myself, so I'm not going to allow you to do that to me. I don't talk to myself like that, so I'm not going to allow you to talk to me like that. When you talk to me, talk to me with respect. Watch your tongue. Bring the shit down. Control your motherfucking hands. Don't be getting too close. Like, bitch, control your motherfucking self. 
And you already been there, done that. My thing is, um, this person acts oblivious in regards to why you're so defensive to everything that they have to say. They wonder why communication, y'all can't communicate. It's because the kind of shit that, the shit that they say is very cutting. It's almost like they're trying to be nice, nasty. Like, they be trying to say some, say some shit, but low-key be sneak dissing or some shit. But then want to offer you a cup of love. Like, for some of y'all, it's a Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like, this person know what the fuck they be doing. Now, let's pull one of these cards. When I said I was going to pull um, one of these. And then one of them at the same time. Okay, Spirit, give me a raw message in regards to this Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords, period. Wish I could keep you much longer. Oh, my God. I'm so glad that I follow my intuition. Then we have ego problems. Yeah, so you leaving this person out out, out with the old and with the new. Like, baby, I don't got time for this. Like, this person really has ego problems. That could be the reason why you don't want to deal with this person. It's like... Uh, 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 uh. I am the nine of cups by myself. All I'm missing is one cup, which is love. This person think that what they had to offer them, trying to offer you to be in a third party situation, they think that you're going to accept that. Uh, no, that it's the ego. It's the ego for me not happening. I'm not accepting that. Then we have, um, wish I could keep you much longer, clarifying the page of swords. Yeah, because you're about to cut this person off. For some of you guys, this person can feel the energy. They already know it. For some of you guys, you already pulled your energy back from this person. They feel that you're about to cut them off. Damn, I done mixed these cards up. Did I? Y'all, I hate reversals. I do, but if it come out, then it come out. What is this? The four of wands. So you walked away because, like I said, um, all the all all that all that this person was trying to convince you that it's cracked up to be, it wasn't. It wasn't a happy home. Uh, this person tried to make it seem like, oh, this is a happy home. I'm providing you this. I'm giving you stability. I'm giving you something. They feel like they were giving you something, but to be honest, it it, it wasn't built on a solid foundation. To be honest, this person was very very toxic. To be honest, this person think they gave you something that they wanted. The house may have been nice, you know. But what happened when y'all got up in that house? The emperor clarifying the empress? Yo, wow. I Whoa. Okay. Um, we was, Before we got carried away with even getting that car, we were supposed to... Um, we were supposed to get some law cards to clarify this eight of cups and the four ones. What is happening here? Something happening, but I'm just letting spirit flow through me, okay? Listen, I'm going to go on with the flow. Nurturing. Yeah, you walked away from this person. One, because they wasn't nurturing. They tried to act like they were. I'm telling you, it was something about the illusion, the outer picture. But it's like everything that looked good ain't, ain't good. Everything that good ain't motherfucking good. Like, it, 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 it looked like... It looked like everything was going good. The house, you know, it you got the house. This It looked like it was an illusion. That's all I'm going to say. We had Twin Flames, Your Passion Ignite. Interesting, y'all. We got the, the, the freaking... Oh, wow. We got the Emperor clarifying the Empress. Like, that is so freaking tight. Like, that is so tight. We about to get um some of these cards to clarify. Maybe I'll just put them. Mm, I'm leaving you, okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we know that. So, this person is going to be very, very sad. This person is going to be crying. For some of you guys, this person is, um, is like, if this is a guy, like, this guy is not afraid to cry. Like, this person do not is not afraid to show emotions this person is okay with showing emotions if they need to cry they will cry and then we have i'm leaving you so you are leaving leaving this person um sagittarius because their connection they're just not nurturing they're not giving you what you need they're not i'm sorry to say it's the truth to say what you need 
they're not giving you and you need love they want polygamy they want third party they want other stuff they want shit that you don't want so if you want something that i don't want how are we going to work if we're not even on the same page we don't want the same stuff it's not going to work king of cups cancer pisces or scorpio this person is going to be um trying to give you a new offer after all that they put you th after all that they put you through they are going to be trying to that is fucking weird to me y'all dude the king of cups queen of cups at the bottom of the deck the empress the emperor clarify found the empress it's a whole lot of twin flame energy in here like and they said it twin flames your passion ignites the the emperor clarifying the empress king of cups at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. It's a whole lot of matching energy. Like, this person knows how you feel. This person can feel how you feel. But um, when I say they can feel how you feel, meaning they can feel your feelings. They know when you sad. They know when you cry, when you down, when you depressed, when you're not feeling like yourself. You know, when you're trying to move forward. They know when you're trying to leave and pull your pull your, pull your your energy back from them. You know, they know when you're trying to leave. That's why they're trying to come back in with a new emotions. Because now they they all in their emotions. Now they don't. It's like a person who de who didn't believe shit stunk. Like, they didn't believe. They, they thought you was always going to be there, basically. They thought you was always going to be there. That they had time. No, you don't have time. No, you don't, I don't have time anymore. I'm leaving. Spirit, give me some more messages, please, for my Zodiac sign of set. For Sagittarius, please. The moon card. Clarifying the five of cups. So, the reason why you are walking away from this situation is because you found out a lot. It's very toxic. And then at the bottom of the deck, bro, twin flames. It's a lot of just binding energy here. A whole lot of competition. A whole lot of I'm trying to match you with what what on with what level you on. A whole lot of like balance. And now like this is the emperor. This is the emperor's the emperor. King of cups, queen of cups. You know, kind of thing like four ones, two, two. Like it's a whole lot of back and forth, back and forth. Y'all could do. It. Then we got the devil card. Like you know, it's a whole lot of back and forth. Um. Okay, let me take a drink of water. Mm. Let me tell you something, Sagittarius. There's a need for you not to be. Feeling like, and I'm not saying that you are, but you got to be real. It is some Sagittarius out there. We ain't all the same. It's some Sagittarius out there. You be like, nah, bro, I wouldn't have did that. Or, you know, I wouldn't operate it like that. Like, not all Sagittarius are 100% same. Are the 100% the same. We all have different things in our birth chart. Sagittarius, the, this one that I'm speaking to, there's no need to be crying over spilled milk. There's no need for you to look at what you invested you invested a lot. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You invested a lot of time in your emotions. And for some of you guys, it took three years out of your life, five years out of your life. For some of you guys, eight years out of your life, eight years that you invested into this person. And my thing is, it didn't work out in your favor. No, I see why. Because the person decided that they wanted to have two people. I'm telling you, like, the polygamy thing is really, really here. Very heavy, very strong. You, both of y'all look different. Both of y'all have two different things that the other person don't have. This person wanted to lead y'all down on a very dark path to, to gain their own sexual gratifications. This person could be into different kind of kinky stuff. This person, I feel like... I feel like for some of you guys, this person could have convinced you to wear a mask, convinced you that it was okay. So now you're wearing a mask, pretending to be okay with something that you're not okay with. For some of you guys, you have red hair or a like show like hair that comes like right here. It's curly, dark brown, brown. Some of you guys, you got a nice backside. The other girl, she got what she got. You know, she could be a little darker than you. You could be a little lighter than her. It's like both y'all got different qualities that the other person don't have. That's why this person want both. But let me tell you something. God is paying attention. 
this person knows what they're doing to both of y'all. They know that you're not right. And they also looking at the situation like, I can't make this up. For the devil card to be at the bottom of the deck, and I was just describing a woman. I wasn't even looking at the lady with the red hair or, or her. I was looking at these two. I was looking at this one with the red hair and the black hair. But you see the resemblance? Like, do you see that? Like, this one is the dark skin one, which is her. That's the red hair, the light skin, which is her. Their body type and body shape is different, and they also have different qualities. They have different things about themselves. And then, if y'all see right here, this this um, this um nasty-looking, dark-shaping, demonic figure, look at the devil. Like, he, he knows what... He wants to keep y'all bound. He This is, like, this is the energy that is behind him trying to brainwash you guys so now let me get y'all some raw cards to see what's going on because some of you guys it's the cancer i said oh it could be a cancer i meant to say capricorn taurus or virgo for some of you guys it could be a cancer that likes to have threesomes and it's not that you're not okay with it but Okay, so clarifying the five of cups, we have I'm very sad and I don't want to show you. Right. You don't want to show this person that you are sad that what they did really affect you. You just want to leave and move on. You don't really want to wear your heart on your sleeve in this situation. It says fall in love when you're ready, not when you're in alone. Not when you're lonely. So basically, I think you attracted the wrong person, Sagittarius, because you were lonely and you wanted to have a good time or something like that. You wanted to have a good time. Yeah, then we have I only I only want sex. So whew, you only want is you this person oh this person may have only wanted sex and you end up having sex and having a good casual time with this person and actually falling in love with this person. But the reason why you fell in love with this person is because you were lonely. Spirit clarify the high priestess for me, please. Spirit, clarify the high priestess for me, please. The queen of pentacles, period. You know that you are very abundant, period. I want to get like a more deeper intuitive message in regards to that because I am called to for the high priestess. I said high priestess. Maybe that card too, the queen of pentacles. Um, queen... Um, so your intuition, Sagittarius, is your security. Um, you have worked very hard to generate and level, basically generate, um, financial and physical security. But in order for you to maintain and keep that, you have to, um, continue to use your intuition and use your discernment when you are dealing with people especially people like this like you know so um uh, for the high priestess card you have to practice still stillness sagittarius like try to practice like being still being one with yourself being centered being quiet and trust that your inner instincts will guide you through whatever situation that you're going through, whatever the circumstances is, whatever um, you're experiencing. Some of you guys, I'm picking up that sex again. Oh, I'm moving too fast. Um, let me shuffle these. Yeah, like, let's shuffle. Source energy, keep wanting to come out. For some odd reason. Alright. I'm going to just show you a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Y'all, I didn't play no music today. What? What? We didn't play no music today. We just up in here chilling, vibing. Just me and you. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, y'all. I appreciate y'all. We gonna get through this, Sagittarius. We gonna get through it. All right, Spirit Angels and Ancestors, give me some clarification messages in regards to this High Priestess and Queen of Pentacles energy. Period. 
period. Taking action and you are my eternal love at the bottom of the deck. Oh, we have three. In the summertime. Uh-oh. So something is going to happen in the summertime. Intuitively, you already know. Okay. Bigger is always better. I told you I was getting something about sex. I was getting something about somebody's um dick size is like big or something and you really really like that about them like life, life is changing for you are you ready clarifying the qu uh, queen of pentacles yes you on your way to your abundance sanitaries you ain't got time to be messing with these sneaky people these low vibrational people these people who just don't got it all who still ain't doing their self-work when it's for free like don't keep looking at me worried about me being bothered by me go do your self-work so you can stop showing up like this in connections because who the fuck want more than one person like, who the fuck want to be with more than one person? Like, that's some crazy ass shit to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, boom, boom, bottom. Three of swords. Here we are. Here the fuck we are. This person going to be trying to come in with fast communication. Come in very, very fast to talk to you because they know that you're cutting them the fuck off. They know that you don't want to be with them no more. They're going to be crying. For some of y'all, this motherfucker really going to be crying. This motherfucker going to be really stressed out, like, in their emotions, like, how could you do this to me? For some of y'all, this is a, a Libra. For some of y'all, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Cancer or Scorpio. For some of y'all, I ain't going. I ain't trying to be funny, but you don't care how much time you invested. It's a no go for you. This person is gonna be trying to convince you that hey, look how much I invested into the situation. Look how many years and time. It don't matter no more. Nothing is wasted. I learned from this shit. Now I'm ready to move forward. Next. Yeah, you ready to move move to calm waters. You're not trying to deal with this person, their bullshit, their toxic behavior, their negativity, you know. You're not trying to deal with them. They're cheating, the polygamy, the, the back and forth, the on and off. One minute y'all talking, one minute y'all not. This person doesn't know how to make a straight commitment. You want commitment with one person, dude. One, one, not more than one. So clarifying the communication this is, I told y'all, this person, like, I'm not making this up. Like, this person is really a fucking weirdo. This person is a weirdo on a creep. Like, first of all, somebody don't want to be with you no more. Leave it alone. Something about this person, that's specific. Something about this person, you knew that they was a little weird, a little creepy acting, or they get a little weird and creepy acting. Like, something about their energy, or they're going to become a weirdo or a creep after, you know, you stop dealing with their ass. Or you already know that. Take that shit out of resonate. With the answer to the phone clarifying the eight of wands, the eight of wands represents communication. You don't want to talk to this person, but this person they actually sure want to talk to you. They they're they're gonna they're going to keep calling, they're gonna keep bothering you. If you do not answer the phone, if you do not pick up for this person, look at it. Sagittarius. If you do not pick up for this person, this person will try to do like some weird shit, go undercover, use somebody else's car to um, spy on you, to check up on you, see what you're doing, driving by your house, driving by your job, um, staying out. Just like some of the, I'm hearing for some of y'all, this person is like sleeping in their car, staying outside wherever you live at just to catch your time frames. Just to catch, okay, she go to work at this time. Or whatever the case is, like, they trying to get back on. Because for some of y'all, you already left this person. So they trying to get back on. What is your new routine? What are they doing now? Where, where are they spending their time now? Who's coming over now? What are they doing now? Who Like, they trying to figure you out, basically, like the new shit. They trying to figure out the new shit. So I want to get you guys some spirit animal oracle cards and also i'm being called to pull y'all some lovers oracle cards why i don't know i'm not really a fan of these cards for some odd reason i don't, I don't really uh care for them that much not really like a fan at first i was because i'm like oh the heart shape is so cute but mm, like the energy, uh, it's just dry to me. I feel like it could have been deeper. Deeper words, better words. All right, Spirit, give me some messages in regards to my Sagittarius. Please give me messages in regards to my Sagittarius. One, 
Sir. Give me one more. Give me one more. Ooh, that's so hard. Like, difficult, cold, hard. Hard, hard. And at the bottom of the deck, we have acceptance. Well, let me, why would I just do that? What is going on? Like you can see from way back there. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. All right, Sagittarius. So let me read your other um lovers oracle cards so we have new beginning which you are embarking on a new beginning you are definitely walking away from this person starting over and not looking back and that's just what what it is a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately part of embracing this current new beginning is accepting it you know what i'm saying and knowing that you know what i surrendered in order for things to change in my life, in order for me to get what I want and what I deserve, I have to accept what this is, accept that this ain't the one, accept that I am willing to move forward, accept that this 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 person's actions, which is beyond your control, because you can't control somebody else's actions. You can't. What this person decided to do and, and chose to want and is interested in, you have to accept that, Sagittarius. Meaning, like, not accept it like I want it, but accept that we are two different people. I don't want that for myself. I accept that that's what you want, and I'm not offering that. I'm not giving you that, and I'm not trying to be a part of that, you know? So, next we have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So, we have you are trying too hard. Give it time. And then we have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, so take that how it resonates, Sagittarius. Walk in and step into your power. You are divinely being, you are being divinely guided. Only thing you have to do is just accept and surrender. Stop trying to, you know figure out why or think about the losses or all that you invested and well i'm scared to move forward because i don't necessarily know where i'm going we all don't know where we're going necessarily but we got to go okay so let me get y'all some spirit animal oracle cards did i get y'all some of these no oh they ready okay all right do it like it's your b-day did I give y'all any birthdays? No, not yet, but I am. I'm going to give y'all some birthdays. I am, I am, I am. I'm going to give y'all some. Girl, I wish we can stay. Y'all want a song from Pandora? Y'all want to know what y'all Pandora song? Like, what, what song resonating with y'all right now? Like, what, what song you should listen to, perhaps? Let me see. So we can play this little game we play. Uh oh, Pandora's message. Oh, and that was. Yo, listen to this, Savvy. And it's crazy because the whole reading was about you walking away from this person. Look, I'm leaving you. You let this person go. You don't got time. You know, this could be a false twin, uh, a false twin flame. This person, you could have thought was your soulmate. This person is not your soulmate. That's why they wanted more than one person. What the hell? How the hell they think they was your soulmate when they didn't date? What they they didn't want to commit to you 100%. Like this person is delusional. Spirit, give me some. 
spirit animal oracle messages for my sign of Sagittarius. Any messages that you want them to know that's going to help them get through the day, that's going to help, you know, um, ease their mind, spirit. What do my Sagittarius have to look forward to? What's going to help them get the, you know, get their courage back, spirit? What's going to help them feel comfortable with moving into this unknown spirit? Please help me to deliver the message. Clear out the clutter. So 28. For some of you guys, you could be 28 years old. Um, yeah. So clearing out the clutter is clearing out the things that fog your mind, the unnecessary thoughts, those negative thoughts that keep you from moving forward. You need to clear those things out your mind. It isn't need for you to clear your mind, like to get out that bed, girl. Stop thinking about what they did. Like, stop thinking about all that they did. Like, just stop. We have this and that is true, so, which is dolphin spirit. So, thank you, spirit, for uh, confirming that. We have evil spirit. Spirit has your back. You don't have to worry. For, for some of y'all, your birthday is um December the 10th, December the 20th, December the 23rd, and December the 5th. December the 5th is here very heavy. December the 21st, be peace. I need to clarify that be peace. There's a need for you to be at peace, is what I'm hearing. You can be at peace, okay? That's what I'm hearing. You can be at, it's okay for you to be at peace. It's okay for you to feel like, whew, I can take a, I can take a, um, a deep breath. Exhale. Be at peace. Trust in the magic, Sagittarius. Know that all is working out, okay? Claim your independence. It's time for you to do your own thing. It's time for you to sing your own song. Somebody's birthday is December the 13th. December the 14th. Spirit, give me some more messages, please, for my Sagittarius. And know that nothing is wasted. That's what I'm saying. You could be at peace with this situation. It's time for a beginning mind. It's time for you to start over. Start over. Clear out the clear out the clutter so you can't think straight. So you can't start over because you can't think straight or start over with your mind being clouded and cluttered with what had happened with this person and why things didn't work out and how much you invested it's time for you to start over and in order for you to start over you have to clear your mind and clear out the things that clutter in your mind like those negative thoughts those things that you keep thinking in regards to why you shouldn't move forward those things that are bothering you in regards to why you feel like i shouldn't reinvest no you should come to peace come to peace with this come to terms with it any more messages, Spirit, before I um, post a chakra wisdom card? Chakra wisdom cards for my Sagittarius. Any more messages, Spirit? Any more messages? Any more messages? Anybody want to come forward? Anybody? Any more messages? Last caller. Last caller. Freedom is yours, okay? This is Sagittarius energy. Look at that beautiful horse. Okay, freedom is yours. You're not stuck. You know that you can move forward. It's time for you to move forward. Somebody's birthday is December the 6th as well. It's time for you to be free. You are a free-spirited person. You don't even like to be trapped down. So for that to even be an option, it's a no-go for me. December the 3rd, is, I'm going to call out the birthdays again. December the 3rd, December the 5th, December the 13th, December the 14th, December the 20th, December the 21st, December the 6th, December the 12th, December the 10th. All right? Those are the birthdays that we have out here for the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius. December the 11th, that was the last birthday that I was hearing. December the 11th. Those, that could be your birthday or, yeah. Or somebody you dealing with birthday for my cross watches. Why did I just put these cards back in the box and I'm going to have to, why did you? Just be doing shit like why. You want to have to shuffle and clean all this up. Just be doing stuff. Don't even be thinking. Okay, Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull y'all some chakra wisdom cards.
here. Give me some chakra wisdom cards for my Sagittarius. What do they need to work on um, moving forward? Because one thing when I give readings, I like to not tell you your business and tell you what's going on and, you know, talk about just the issues, the problems. I want to also give you a solution to your problem and a natural solution. And it's a matter of you just working on your chakras. So first card that we have out is the is I say it's the throat. Maybe you a deep throat. I don't know. Hold on. It's like now nah, we got the um the third plexus chakra, which is which represents the solar plexus chakra, which represents inner harmony. You can pause that if you want, but I am going to go ahead and read it out loud for you guys. Calm down, Jaru. So the third chakra solar plexus card represents inner harmony. It also wants you to trust your innate wisdom and respond accordingly. Yo, spirit is good. I love my spirit guides. I trust my innate wisdom and respond accordingly. I do not allow my mind to create doubt or to override my strong gut feelings. Remember I said intuitively, rewind, say all that. Yes, very much so. I do not allow my mind to create doubts or to override my strong gut feelings. I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others. I am at peace with myself and those around me. And I do not harbor unrealistic expectations of myself or of others. I release the need to control others. My personal power is free from ego and from any desire to manipulate or exploit situations or people. The foundation of my thoughts and actions is entrusting myself. Wow, beautiful. That is a beautiful car right there. Like, I fucking love that car right now. It clarified the whole entire goddamn reading. Should have probably poured some of these cards first and just allowed a tarot to get the clarifying. That's what I should have did. Wow, so any more messages from my Sagittarius? You just blew us off the map. Drop the mic. <laughs> okay, okay. Spirit angels, spirit guys. What's going on with my Sagittarius? Abundance. The second chakra, which is the sacred chakra, which represents abundance. Come on through, Sagittarius. Getting what you deserve, period. I am worthy and I deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I am honoring and respecting myself. I honor myself by knowing that I am worthy to receive. I am open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength and to ask for help. Wow, Sagittarius. So you do need to ask for help. If you need, if you, if you, like, don't ever be afraid to ask for help. And start off with your spirit angels and your spirit guides first. Ask them for help first. Ask for help from them first. Okay? They got your back. They'll help you. They're going to fly right on in. Trust me. The next is we have the first chakra, which is the base chakra, which represents courage and faith. So, with this card, it says, I embrace courage, faith, and adaptability as they are needed for me to overcome my fear of change or of the future. I regularly remind myself to be positive and open to possibilities, knowing that I am the creator of my own destiny. I embrace the warrior that is within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not to not a warrior, meaning like you worry a lot. <coughs> cool, I like that. <coughs> I am not a victim. Somebody don't want me to <coughs> say this. I'm going to say it one more time just because they didn't want me to say it. I embrace the warrior within me. I remind myself to be a warrior, not a warrior. I am not a victim. I feel the fear and I do it anyway. I am ready and eager to move forward. Period. Hey, hey, y'all. Don't even play with me right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I just screamed like that. But y'all told me to put this card out first, right, which is the third. Second. First, didn't even know we was fucking doing this shit in order like that, yo. This is something about order in this reading, mirroring, twin things, a whole lot of... Mm, mm, mm. So we got first, second, 
And then third, look like, look how my spirit angels can spit. Let me fix this. I need y'all to see it how I'm seeing it. That's how I'm seeing it. First, second, and third chakra light. And then the crazy part is, is I started out with this way and I moved. It's like you working from, working your way from the bottom to the top. Three, two, one. Drops the mic. Yo, I'm done, Sagittarius. I hope that this general reading resonated with you. Comment down below. If it did, let your girl know. Okay. Um, and yeah. Bye, babes.